Hi guys, I'm back for my second video on the second channel, and uh, today we are going to be doing some muck spreading and stuff um, with the cows. Um, from the last episode, I did quite a bit of work. So what I did was I leased, um, I leased the Cassie Ferguson, um, as you can see, I leased that, um, and so I only have four things. I sent back to New Holland the the like that. So I did that, and I also bought. Um, the mixer here and the bell shredder here, and I also bought this grab. Um, so now the cows have, and I've got a hundred cows. Oh, I think I showed at the end of the episode. So, um, if you go over to here, all my straw bales I um, put in the feed mixer and then empty out, and it turned them into straw bales, which is a bit odd, but um, it works. So, I've got a bit more near. Um, my spreader there, um, and if you come over here, we have a considerably smaller amount of silage um, because what we did is I got all my um, hay bales from there and hay, and then made loads of total mix ration for the cows. And then here they have 100% cleanliness is 97 water, straw is all good, and total mix ration and everything. So they've got everything you need, they are 100%, 99% productivity. I have tidied the yard a load, so I put everything in here, everything where it needs to be combined and all the tractors in this barn over here. I'll just give you like a tour of what's where. So I've got the loader here, got all the mowing kit. So, again, here we've got some equipment and the mixer. Um, and then in the barns, this is where everything's going to go. So we have the two bureau tractors in here, or however you say them, in there. Combine in this one at the end, in the end here, we've got the header, and then in here we've got the um, little mowing tractor and this as well. So that's what is here. But well, what I might do is um, sleep the night so I can get some more um, silage, uh, not silage, uh, manure, so I won't run out because I don't want to uh, do it and run out. That will be annoying. And I don't really want to buy any. So I'm going to now elapse time. I'm actually going to turn crop growth on fast. It is on fast. <laughs> what am I? Um, yeah, I think it's how I would like it. Yeah. But yeah, I did. That's basically what I did in the last episode. And this film is just how it is. How we left it. Harvested. Um, so this video, um, after I've like done the, done this in a bit, um, I will do some spreading. And sorry about the connection; it might be really bad. Um, it might be a really laggy first of the video. But if it is, I'll just redo it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna lapse time now and then go to bed. And then in the next game day, I'm going to mock spread um, and then plow that field and then. Um, uh, with plow and then drill the field with potato and then I lease all the potato stuff and then drill all the potatoes and then when all the potatoes are ready to harvest I will then harvest the potatoes and also mow the grass mow, mow the grass first and then I might plow up these grass fields and put in corn all of my fields including field um field seven so I can a massive silage harvest in my silage pit so I clear my silage pit or something but that's something I think I might do but um yeah it's uh, 3 o'clock now what are the contracts are there any good contracts there's nothing there's these three here for mowing oh it's just these three now so there's two hay ones and a silage one no I won't do that. if I had a bigger when I get a bigger mower I'll do them But now I have got 50 cows, so I should be bringing in the milk. And then when there's like a great demand for milk or great demand for anything to have, especially um, this, uh, what I can't remember what it's called. So when 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 I put all my grain in the silo, and um, when there's a great demand for it, I will um, sell everything, sell the milk. Um, and if I have a load of silo, um, manure. 
I might sell some of the biogas as well. But that's probably the next thing I want to buy. Is buy this um biogas and um uh repay the loan. So field seven would technically be mine and I will buy it. But this is all interesting. Applies so it's basically ready to harvest. What I might do is do that in silage bells, which is really annoying because I just send back all my stuff. I don't know. I might do it in silage bells and then um and then have the pit over the base silage so I put one bale of base silage, one bale of hay, one bale of straw and then the rest is um grass silage the other way around. One bale of grass silage, one bale of straw and one bale of hay. And then the rest is that. But anyway, I will do that in the next or whatever because today's gonna be much funny anyway, and uh, I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> Sleep the night. Here it is, nine o'clock in the morning. Let's see how much manure we have. Ah, uh, we've got quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Not really that much. Uh, they've cleaned us. They've basically got loads of stuff, so I might just keep skipping days. Open to the messy and uh. I'll hit on this and to clean up the cows. But this can double up as a bell spike and a um a bell spike and a bucket silage manure grab. So it's my silage manure grab and a bell spike for this. Also do have the bell spike that comes with the um bell shredder. But I did go with the Nokia tire because um, it's only going to be like around the farm. I'm not going to be using it much for loading bales and stuff. I just use more stacker for that. So uh, yeah, I don't really want the Nokia tires. I don't give them this. Just put it in the silage pit because I'll be giving them to make trash and they don't need silage. I'll just look to see how many bells are. Each of those will be £17,000. That's a lot of money. It'll be 5200 5, That'll be the same, and this will be 17000 So I could have enough money to buy it. It'll be £27,000 to get all of those. But at least I would have. At least I would have uh, some money left. I can get all those and I'll have some food for the cows. But I, I'm going to leave for now. And uh, if I uh, have some... If they, if they need anything. If they, start, if they go into the yellow, then I will um, get the food ready. But other than that, I think what I'm going to do is... Um, just elapse some more time off camera and then it's got loads of silage. Um, I keep saying silage, I don't know why. It's got loads of manure and then uh, I'll go and muck spread field 7 with. I don't know what tractor I use, I've used one of them obviously. Anyway, you'll, you'll see, I'll probably go straight into a time lapse of me doing that. But anyway, I will see you when I have done everything and I'm probably doing it so yeah so guys so guys um I have decided to not do manure I have decided to do slurry two reasons because it'd be slightly more realistic um slightly because in life if you spread mark can slightly affect your 
um, skin finish on the potatoes, and also um, I had more of it. I had more 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 slurry, as you can see. Uh, slurry was fifty three. It was actually sixty percent. But um, I obviously took some out, and then well, manure was out. The reason why I wanted to do manure is because manure shows up better on a hardwood field. Slurry shows up better on um, cut grass. That's that's the you can barely see manure on um, a cultivated field or an animal field, and you can you can just about see uh, manure on grass. That's what I found in my experience of playing. So I'm using this, the big Bura tractor, and I'm taking, I've leased this grass with the big chunky tyres, and I'm going to take it um, over to our field, I don't know which way to go, so um, I'm just going to turn around and go down this way. If I go down, if I come to the end of this road, go down the road by the side of these fields here, that will take me to field 7, hopefully. And I'll spread this, and then I'm going to lease the Cavernland plow. Um, there's the the Cavernland um, uh, 2.5 meter one, um, five fire, because that requires 165 horsepower. This is the 165 horsepower, so I'm going to put it in real life. It wouldn't pull this tractor would never pull that um, plow because it's not a necessary just about horsepower. It's actually about the size of the tractor. Um, but yeah, this tractor wouldn't pull in, but I doubt it very much. Maybe like a smaller plow it may pull, but that's a heavy plow, so... Well, I'm still going to use it, because this, this says it can, so I might as well take advantage of it. And then, um, I'll probably put another plow on the other side, which is 100, 100, 100 horsepower. So I'll put something like the 100 plow. But this build is basically completely covered in um, stubble, like spread stubble, so... It is not going to be that hard, that hard for me to see, but I'm going to do start a bit of slurry now. I will lose a bit, like waste a bit. There's a slight curve on the field, but it shouldn't be. It should be right. And then, yeah, get ready for the potatoes. I don't know what my thumbnail should be. Might be me spreading or ploughing or whatever. I might not be ploughing in this episode though, that's the thing. Ploughing may come later on. I'm going to crash into a tree. It's not good. You can slightly see at your, what you've, where you've been with a fly spreader on arable land. It's just a, a lot harder. Um, and I prefer just to use it just on them. Um, grass and use the neuron here, but I had those of this so I thought I might as well use it. But it does run out very quickly. As you can see I'm already 50%. But yeah, when I get to the end here, I'll, I'll do a time lapse of me spreading. And yeah. So be very good. And then I think after the potatoes, I'll put maize in all of my fields and then do a massive maize tiny harvest. Right. 34% and I've got two rows. <laughs> so, if I see myself getting very low on, I will, um, low on manure, I will get the uh, guy to buy it. And I'm driving on the road now. But yeah. Um, my connection for this isn't, my laptop isn't very good, so the game video might be quite laggy. Doesn't matter too much. I have, I skipped about three or four days, so my cow's water, um, it has gone down and the food, but I don't know why the straw hasn't. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Because I haven't given them any straw, they've just always got straw, which is not a bad thing, because they will keep producing manure. Oh, and I think I t took out a bit more of a two hundred fifty thousand pounds, so I could come over. It was so I get. Yeah, it was so I could buy the uh, um buy the the mixer and shredder and lease the mask. But anyway, 
I think I will start a time lapse now. So guys, I have finished spreading the slurry on the fields, and I am now going to plough the fields, but I am going to leave the video here and then leave a time lapse of me ploughing the, field, um, ploughing the fields um, and stuff. So hopefully uh, you can enjoy the last time lapse. And uh, we have two time lapses in this video, but I think that'd be, that'd be fine. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, um, and uh, hope to see you in the next one like and subscribe if you enjoyed and yeah bye